watching our own storm blowing in from the northwest, right, Lauren? Well, we have a big one coming our way starting on Sunday night. But before that, we actually have some pretty big thunderstorms right now in Colorado. So all the way from Burlington down to the southeastern corner of the state, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch in place through 10 o'clock tonight. It's been very active in Kansas. They have the same thing in place as well. So some of these storms out in the eastern plains have been producing quite a bit of lightning, some hail, and some really heavy rainfall. They're starting to lose a little bit of their intensity, but we still can't rule out that one or two of them potentially could turn severe. Now here in Denver, we have had some thunderstorms roll through very quickly. Southeastern side of town down towards Parker, Aurora towards Parker. We've had a little bit of light hail in some spots and a lot of lightning as well. But those have started to wrap up again very quick moving. We do have some snow right now in parts of the high country and the foothills. But again, even that is starting to fizzle out. So today's system really quickly will be out of here. But again, it is the plains that will be the most active well into the night. You can see from Lyman through last chance up towards Fort Morgan. We do have quite a few storms right now. As of this moment, they are not severe, but they are producing quite a bit of lightning. So our area of low pressure that's been bringing us this weather, that's cruising on into the Midwest. High pressure replaces that as we head towards Saturday. So this weekend, sunny, warm, it's beautiful outside, but we're watching this next one up in the Pacific Northwest, actually still up near uh, parts of Canada and into Alaska. That is going to head our way, heading towards Sunday night into Monday, and we are looking at some massive changes from that. We're talking about the chance for snow. Pretty much statewide, there is that potential, and across the Front Range I-25 corridor, possible to get about one to maybe three inches of snow. Again, remember how warm it will be this weekend. It will take a long time for that snow to actually accumulate, and it will be that wet, heavy, slushy snow. So tree damage will be very possible as well when you get that wet, heavy snow could tear down some tree branches. So if you can, make sure you're out there on Monday knocking down some of that snow. So looking at our future cast tonight, skies clear. We have a beautiful start to the day on Saturday with that high pressure building. Then we do have, again, a beautiful Saturday. Enjoy it. And almost all of Sunday is beautiful as well with clear skies. But by 10 o'clock at night, midnight, snow starting to develop in northern Colorado, heads towards the front range. And we are looking at the potential for snow really throughout the uh, morning hours. So, of course, it comes Monday morning when we have a morning commute, and then that will clear in the evening hours. It has been nasty gusty with this front working its way through right now. You can see the gusts all the way from the western slope out to the eastern plains, almost 50 mile per hour gusts right now in Pueblo. 58 degrees in Denver right now, 59 in Greeley, Fort Collins and Boulder, 55 in Burlington, 36 in Leadville, 53 in Craig. Right now it's 58 downtown and out at DIA, and of course we're gusty as well. 66 earlier today out at DIA, 53 uh, It was our low for today. The uh, uh, City Park didn't record their temperature today, so we didn't get any updates on that. 46 in Denver, 45 in Boulder tonight, 42 in Burlington. We have uh, 32 in Frisco, 27 in Aspen, and tomorrow we're close to 80. 79 in Denver, 74 in Greeley, 78 out in Ray, 62 in Eagle and Steamboat. We have 66 in Craig and Meeker and 69 in Grand Junction. For your five-day forecast, 74 degrees as we head towards Sunday. Then those big changes come on Monday, 37 degrees, and it will be a very, very chilly around here with a chance oh, for some snow. But then 60s on Wednesday, yes. just crazy. Yeah, then we're back to it. All right, thanks. <laughs> Sports is